LSU head coach Ed Orgeron has been taking on criticism the past week as he's now being labeled paranoid. Uh, they were going to have a somewhat satellite camp. It's kind of iffy what you want to call it with the NCAA. Uh, Fox News uh, out of Jackson, Mississippi reported Wednesday that a camp Bellhaven University uh, was supposed to hold in uh, this week in Louisiana is now being... Well, it's not happening because Texas, Cornell, and a few other schools uh, were all going to join as well, like most of these, you know, big camps. And since it was in Louisiana and it was going to be held at apparently LSU, well, LSU canceled it. Ed Ordron did not want it to happen. Now, this is the third such accusation of LSU trying to keep out-of-state schools, including the Texas schools mainly, uh, and, and some of the other Power 5 schools like Michigan, away from their recruiting state, their, their satellite camps. Hal Mune, the head coach at Bellhaven U- University, said, quote, Paranoid Ed has kind of made it a real plain that he's not going to allow any schools outside uh, of the state to come in here and look at their players. I I think the NCAA needs to come in and look at it. I don't see how a public figure of an SEC school uh, can basically extort people from not using their facilities for the public good, end quote. Now, I think the most powerful quote that he had, the powerful statement that he uh, made uh, that I think many student athletes from the state of Louisiana can uh, relate to is this. You probably have three or four hundred kids a year that are capable of playing college football, but not all of them are going to make Division One, so not all getting looked at. Like I said, we had Cornell coming in from the Ivy League that would have presented some opportunities there. If you live in Louisiana and you don't live on I-10 or I-20, you probably live in a place that's fairly hard to get to, and a lot of these schools wouldn't come and go and look at you. End quote. Uh, so. With LSU doing this, they also had one of their six foot seven, three hundred pound offensive linemen transfer, uh, or le- wanting to transfer from LSU, and he wanted to transfer to TCU. Well, LSU declined it, and they declined. They they said uh, they will not allow a transfer f- for him to go to any SEC school or TCU. Uh, you know, I get it. Texas and Louisiana, they go at it for recruits. Louisiana pulls Texas kids. Texas kids. Uh, you know, vice versa. But this is getting a little bit out of hand with Ed Orgeron now doing this. Uh, Les Miles never have, never had a problem with this. He loved the camps. So why is Ed Orgeron now making sure that no Texas kid, no Texas coaches come down to Louisiana and hold these camps? You know, I, it's especially it's a Bell Haven University. I never heard of them until this story. So I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, they're just camps for the kids, and these is a chance for these kids to get looked at and possibly go on. And and most of the time, I mean, if LSU is not looking at a kid, Texas is probably not looking at them. So I don't see what the big problem is with uh, with Ordron doing this. It's it, well, I do see a problem with this. I don't understand why he would do this. Uh, it's just very paranoid, like uh, from a head coach to do this. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Also, tweet me at Short Sports Show. Yeah.